Hey y'all, Justin with Kite Catfish coming at you from the great state of Alabama today on a little road trip. Could have picked some better weather to come down here. It's been windy and I thought the rain had moved out as it's starting to sprinkle now. Guess where the umbrella is too? Back at the car. We're gonna roll with it today, y'all, but my plan is to cover some water out here on Wilson Lake. My first time ever fishing down here brand new place for me so what i've done i launched my kayak here in the back of this creek and i'm gonna start fishing here i'm gonna drag some baits pulling out of this creek and then get out on the main channel and just take a side of the ledge and just go with it and cover some water today and see what i run into hopefully we'll come across some blues wouldn't hurt my feelings if we caught some flatheads too water temperatures down here in alabama a few degrees warmer than they are back home right now so i'm hoping to bite be a little bit better down here but i got a tournament coming up in a couple weeks so got to get some practice in right got to learn and pattern what i want to do on tournament day and so that's what we're going to try to figure out today so come with me y'all let's go explore some new water so here is the first bait going out that's a skipjack head i've got that on my dragon rigs we got a 10 ounce size circle hook 80 pound monofilament with a float and rattle a few inches above the bait up here about three four foot up the line on a three-way rig we've got my dragging sinkers which you can learn how to make these there's a link down in the video description very easy simple cheap to make and i'm just moving along right now i'm starting out here it looks like about 16 17 feet deep i'm gonna start letting out some line on that rod while we get the other one baited up here this rig will be the exact same as the other one the difference is we got a skipjack head on the other rod we're going to do a skipjack chunk on this one and i'm probably going to set my speed probably about 0.5 inches well, if i can get hold look you see that i got fumble fingers you know? i hope i i'd rather drop something in the kayak than outside of it glad that landed where it did but we'll get that letting that line there and uh this creek here not very long right up there that opening you see that's the entrance to the main channel and i'm gonna turn and head up river here to start with i've got a couple other rods with me too we mark some fish on the graph as we go along i may just spot lock and set there on them and we'll suspend some bait so everything's on the table today but mostly i just want to kind of get out here and cover some water and learn just kind of get a feel for hopefully what depth the fish are at uh, do they want a moving bait? Do they want it sitting still? You know, what kind of, is there any cover out here? Any objects, any standing timber, anything like that that I can maybe mark fish on, pick up a pattern? This is purely an educational trip for me. Anytime I go somewhere brand new, first time on the water, I'm just hoping to learn. And today it would, it'd be nice if I could also stay dry, but I don't think that's gonna happen y'all. So get your rain suit, get your umbrella, come with me, let's go catch us some fish. I think we got a fish right here, y'all. Fish number one, yep worked up man i just got here to the entrance of this creek you can see the the land right there where it's coming out 31 feet deep here this is on the chunk the skipjack body section i've just been moving along about a half mile an hour trying to keep my head down under this hood the rain i think's maybe slacking up it come a pretty good shower there for a few minutes i swear every time you leave your umbrella in the car that's when you're gonna get rain on if i had it we wouldn't have got a drop of rain on us today <laughs> it's just that's murphy's law man it's good to be getting hooked up here first fish though getting the getting the skunk out it don't feel too bad either i just got here at the mouth of this creek i'm about to hit up this ledge here i'm gonna go right up this this ledge wall come on fish let's go over here and get a look at you now let's see what we're working with here let's see what we got he feels like a decent fish man we should be seeing him any time now Yep, there he is, blue. It's a, what I call a thumb sizer right there. Nice way to start the trip, man. Fish number one, Alabama road trip, Wilson Lake. Getting a skunk out, buddy. That's exciting, man. Always a fear when you go somewhere new 
that things ain't going to work out. <laughs> We're getting at least one today, by gosh. Oh, goodness, fish, you just splashed me. Water right in my face. He done it again, folks. All right, y'all, there it is. Fish number one. Skunk buster right there. This ain't talking. He's saying, Justin, go back to Tennessee. You ain't welcome here. He's going to go down there and tell his friends probably all about me. Words out, y'all. Words out. These fish, they're going to be ready for me, by gosh. Hey, a few minutes in here. I don't know, half hour probably, actually. I just I come from the back of that creek. We out to here. Hopefully, hopefully things going to clear up. I'd like to be able to get this dang rain suit off. But uh, yeah, y'all, fish number one. We're on the board, y'all. Let's get another bait now. Take another section of this skipjack here. I got plenty of skipjack. I stocked up on them before I drove down here yesterday evening. So we're good on bait. I'm just gonna trim these fins off too here. Give them a little, little snip. We'll run this hook through and keep making our way along. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop right now. I really just want to cover water. Um, if we get, if we really, if we start having both rods going down, or I mark a big pile of fish on the screen, on the graph there as we move along, we'll stop and set on top of them. But uh, otherwise, I really, I just want to try to cover some water, keep on the move, and just explore out here today. Oh, goodness gracious, y'all. Couldn't get my dang camera going, but we got another fish here on the chunk. I'm out here in the main channel now, making my way up through here. And we had a what looked like a pretty nice takedown, although you didn't see it because I couldn't get the dang camera. My hands, they've been, I'm cold, y'all. That's what it boils down to. I'm cold. It's like 40 something degrees today, high 40s, but where i got wet i got cold and there's just a little bit of a breeze and so you know how it is my hands ain't working right <laughs> we'll get together here directly though filming may be suspect today but we're at least getting some fish i still ain't really seeing you know, much fish on the on the graph i mean an occasional mark here and there that's up in the water column that i don't really even think are cats but uh, if nothing else, just doing this technique, just dragging, covering water here, we'll, we'll run into those sporadic fish that we come across up this ledge. These fish use these ledges, just move up and down. And so we're working up right now because, well, the current's coming this direction and the wind is also blowing down river too so i want to be going into both of those so that i can control my speed and so that's why that's why we're headed this direction but this fish here he needs to be headed on up here in this kayak he needs to be heading that direction still trying to pull away from me this fight's done went on way too long y'all done gonna be fast forwarding clicking off the video i know how you are i see the watch time by gosh youtube tells me all that crap I know this fish, he's, he's ruining it for us. I'm going to tell him about it too when we get him up here. I think we about got him whooped here. I think it's going to be another fun sizer. This may actually be low here. I think he may actually be a smidge smaller than the other one. Oh man, he somehow got my other line too. Why'd y'all let him do that for? I was fiddling with that dang camera, and I bet you that's when he got in my other line, and he is all wrapped up in it. He's ran some circles around it. You old fish, you. We got our other bait messed. I could be catching your friends right now. This one here is as ornery as the last one. None of these Alabama fish like me. They heard I'm a UT football fan, and they can't stand it. Old Nick Saban retired, and they know their days of Alabama being dominant is over. And these fish, they're just tore up. Where's my pliers at? If this one here ain't gonna act like somebody, that hook, look at it. It's coming back out his mouth there. I ain't trying to get that in my hand, folks. 
get hold of that thing and see if I can get him this way maybe. Any other time he'd be thrashing around, we'd pull that hook right out. There. There we go, Lord. The old fish, he may actually, I don't know. I'm gonna hold him out like that. That's a, he's got some length to him there, but we down here and that, we looking for a fish much bigger than that today. I'm happy to get what I get going to fishing on a new place, but we want something, something bigger. There's a lot bigger fish than that down here in Alabama. That's for dang sure. Well, let me get this mess sorted out here and then we'll cut another bait and get back on the move, y'all. Okay, here's a fish. Well, that's another one. Oh, that's gonna take a little drag right there now. That might be a little better, folks. It has been a while since I've had a bite. I've probably went, I bet you I've went close to an hour now without a bite, not even a peck. I'm just continuing making my way along up this ledge and I'm just covering water. Oh man, is this fish in something down there? Oh man, I hope he ain't in something. He may just be a good fish. Huh? We're making, making a little progress on him. It felt like he was in something down there though. Happy to get another bite though, man. I, I thought, got those other two fish fairly quickly and I thought, well, I'm gonna get out here. And, continue that pattern, you know, continuing getting bites frequently. And these fish were like, ha ha. Just what you think, Justin. Every fish though so far has been on the, on the chunk. I did switch my, when I put a new bait on after that last fish, I went ahead and reeled in my other rod and I put a fresh headpiece on it as well. So the other head is pretty much bled out it nothing really messed with it but it was it was time for a change i think this one here is probably going <clears throat> if i can get my words the lord almighty i'm choking y'all somebody come do the heimlich I need y'all teleport through the screen and save me here i think this one though is going to be smidge bigger than the other two. Come on up here, fish. We will be getting close now. Part of these fish feeling like they do too is just probably because I'm moving into the current. That's probably, yeah, this one is a little better though. Little better fish here. Definitely, definitely upgraded our quality just now. Grab my glove here. Let's see if we can see if we can land this old thing. Come on in, fish. Old butterball right here. As the catfish boat's going by. Bad timing for you to bite fish. We gotta we gotta try to keep people from knowing where we're catching fish at now. This fish he didn't know. He didn't know that other boat was going by. There's just another one, y'all. A little bit better fish. A little bit of an upgrade over the other two. Whew, I tell you, man, it's been a while, though. Just, uh, just grinding, man. Just covering water. It's one thing about this technique. You can do it pretty much anywhere, and you put in enough time on it, you're going to run into some fish and, and get you a bite or two. Well, let's let this one go. We'll see you, fish. Hey, gone. I'm going to put another bait on there. We'll keep on our path. Thankfully, the rain has moved out finally. And so I'm starting to dry out a little bit. I'm still cold, but uh, much better to be cold than be cold and wet. So anyway, things are, I feel like things are going pretty well so far. You know, new body water come out here, three fish so far. So I'm optimistic, man. I'm liking how things are going. Another one. Another one right there, man. Oh boy, this one feels good too, y'all. He feels good too, I tell you, man. <laughs> this is awesome right here. 
I, I can't tell you in words the satisfaction that you get when you go somewhere new that you've never been before and you start catching fish. It's just a, it's a rewarding feeling. And so coming out here and just getting the fish that I have gotten, I'm, I feel good about y'all. I feel like, I feel like this is a successful trip already. Now, as far as a scouting mission goes for my upcoming tournament, I don't feel like any of the fish I've caught thus far is going to do much for me on tournament day. I'm going to need something bigger than what I've gotten. And I'll tell you, this body of water here, it's, it don't really, it don't really suit my skill set as far as how I normally like to, to fish. And I'm, uh, a little concerned about on tournament day, depending on how the conditions are. I, I don't know. I don't know how things are going to go for me, to be honest with you. This fish, though, I know how things are going for him. He's having a bad day. <laughs> I feel like he's been swimming right at me as I've been reeling him in. Now he's wanting to. He's wanting to go back down now. He's just pulling like the dickens, buddy. Look at him go, man. He felt good when I first picked up on him. Then he slacked off because I think he was swimming toward me as I was reeling him in. And then now he's, he's right back after it, man. I'm here. You can see this, this wall over here. I'm kind of on the, the bottom edge of it here, right on that brake line. Oh crap, this fish, he's got my back line too. You danged old fish, man, I tell you these. Two times now we've had that happen today. One fish. Oh, this in here ain't so bad right now. You think maybe we can get him out of it right quick before we land him? If he'd calm it down a notch, I think we probably could. Come here, fish. Work that line from around you there. Work that line out. Oh, crap. I'll fool with it in a minute. I thought we could get it there. This fish is just playing games with me. Uh, this, one's a, this one's a pretty good fish right here, though. Man, he's got some... He's got a belly on him. Come up here. Now that you've done made a mess with both these lines. Okay. Oh, quit. All right. Boy, look at that man. He ain't very, he ain't got some much length to him, but boy, he's fat. Let's hold this one up. <laughs> look at that one. But he's got a short, stubby tail and a big belly. I mean, look at the tail on that thing. You a odd shaped fish. This fish looks like some of the people I see walking around a dollar store right here. <laughs> Boy, good fish though. Good time, man. It's fun. It's fun, y'all. I'm having a, I've been cold out here today. Got a little wet early on, but I'm having fun. Get out of here, buddy. There he goes. He gone. Let's put another, man, that was another one on the chunk, man. The head just ain't. Head just ain't getting messed with y'all. I, I I don't know if I should. I want to leave a head bait out, really, because I got such confidence in it. But with me only running two rods right now and all the fish eating the chunks, it's like you know I could be potentially, if they're keyed in on them midsections, I could be doubling my catches potentially if by putting out another chunk. But you know it just is what it is. I can't. I can't. Normally, sometimes, if I get my words out, when I'm doing this, I like to drag two off the back of the kayak and suspend two baits off the front. But since I'm out here working into this current, if I tried suspending baits going into it, like it would just, I, I would have trouble controlling my depth. The, the current and the force of me going into it would raise them baits up. It would just be impossible. So I've just been doing the two rods 
and just working along this brake line here as it starts to come up at a, at a sharp angle here. It's working that all the way down through here. And so definitely some fish in this area, but you know, none of them, none of them tournament winning fish like I'm gonna need here in a couple weeks. And let me take this camera here and, and show you, just give you the panoramic kind of, you can see Wilson Lake here. I mean, it's huge. It's a huge, wide, kind of open body of water. And so the wind today is not bad. There's a little bit of chop on the water, but the, the wind overall, not really bad. You get a day though where the wind is up 15 miles an hour, boy, it's gonna be like a dang ocean out here, buddy. I mean, it's gonna be rocking. And so, you know, one of the things I wanted to look for out here today, was, in addition to the fish, is try to find some places that maybe, if I show up on tournament day and the wind is cranking, or the places like bank access, where I could pull the kayak up on the shore and be able to cast baits out and reach some fish. That was one of the one of the goals I wanted to, to try to find out here, just in case. But uh, so far though, man, today, I'm feeling good about myself. I'm feeling accomplished, y'all. I, I hope y'all enjoy it. I know I am. I'm gonna cut a new skip. And I'm gonna put a new fresh head on the other rod. Even though it ain't getting bit, I just wanna leave it out there and just to have it. And we'll do another chunk on this rod and get everything reset and just keep making our way along here. Look right here. Look right here, y'all. We got one on the head bait. I'll be doggone it happened. Man, oh man, it finally, <laughs> this is the third skip jackhead that I have put down and by gosh, oh, he's coming right at me too, man. Look at this, buddy. He's swimming straight at me right here. Or did he come off? I think he's come off. He did. I just thought we had us one. Jaggummit. <laughs> Tagummit, man. I was so excited. I thought we had us one on the head bait. I'm just reeling away thinking that daggone fish was swimming right at me and he is done long gone. He said heck with it. <laughs> All right, let's send that dang head back down and keep making our way along. I'm just gonna keep working up through here. My plan, my plan today is to just fish till dark. I'm spending the night down here and I'm gonna fish tomorrow too. Weather tomorrow is, at least the forecast looking much better. Ain't supposed to be no rain tomorrow. Wind's gonna be lighter than it is today. So I think tomorrow's the day, but uh, since I'm spending a night down here, I'm just gonna just fish out here until dark this evening. So I'm just gonna keep going this direction and just covering water, seeing what I run into. You know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm following, you can see on the graph there maybe, the edge of that brake line because this cliff wall here comes down and it's a real sharp drop to right here where I'm at. I'm 35 feet, but as I move along, I got the live scope on. You know, I'm just looking. I'm just looking down through there, just seeing what I see and stuff as we make our way along. But I'm just gonna keep going this direction. You know, got another couple hours of daylight left here. So I think that's gonna be the plan for the rest of the afternoon. Okay. Let's, oh, yeah, that's a fish. But gosh, I thought, at first I thought my line was kind of snagged the way it was sitting there and then it moved a little bit and that's a fish that fish tried to identify as a snag by gosh we're gonna reel him in though that's another one on the dang chunk finally got that head bait eat and he come off but the chunk has got it done for us this afternoon the wind has started to pick up here a little bit in the last few minutes. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's, I mean, it's not blowing too terribly bad, but like I mentioned there earlier, you, you don't need a real strong wind out here to get some chop. So I'm hoping it don't get any worse than this. I may have to adjust plans or something. The good thing about dragging is when the water does get choppy, you can just let out more line behind you and that'll prevent your baits from sitting down there bouncing. You can just let out enough line to keep them coming through the water smoothly. This fish here, he ain't very smooth. I'll tell you that, he 
he tried to pull one over on me thinking he is going to pretend to be a snag down there yeah he's he's another fun sizer though i mean he's certainly not as big as the biggest fish we've got but not a bad one either this is another boy look at this fish here y'all this is another one it's got a stumpy tail let me get my glove here and get this thing in this is another one here it's got all misshaped body i want you to look at this fish right here this is another one here it's got a stumpy tail i mean the other one the other fish was bigger but he had the same body style as that just a, I i mean just real short tail maybe that's an alabama thing i don't know i'd make a comment about some alabama people and their football fans fish but i'll get lit up the comment box if i do <laughs> get old out here you old stumpy thing you know as, as old tennessee vol fan we got to take our shots at the Alabama people as often as we can. And no more often than, than we win against Alabama, we don't get to talk very much, by gosh. That fish there, every one of these fish keep throw, ripping the bait off. So we'll put us another chunk on there and at least keep moving along for now. As long as the wind don't get any worse than this, and I don't know, you know, the motion crap there on the camera stabilization probably don't look that as rough as it is on the camera but it is getting a little more choppy out here but as long as it don't get no worse than this i'm gonna continue on with the plan if the wind does pick up some more i'll probably try to i'll probably try to get out of it it's probably what i'll try to do uh i don't know they're, they're really this this section of the lake here there's really there ain't nowhere to hide from it to be honest with you the creek i launched in which wasn't very big uh you know could maybe provide a little protection but since i turned and come out of that creek and have been coming up this ledge here i mean they really they really just ain't much in here like you know creeks it ain't like like back home there's creeks everywhere you know creeks and coves and pockets and stuff out here it's kind of just straight line so uh We'll figure, if the wind gets worse, we'll figure out something, by gosh. There's the next bait going out, another chunk. The chunks have got it done, by gosh, so we'll let the line out on that. The, you know, the distance I'm gonna put out, undoubtedly, you know, somebody gonna ask me, and I know how it is in the comment box, somebody gonna ask, how much line do you put out? You know, when you're putting these baits, oh, was that one getting hit? Maybe I was coming across something. I'm talking to you, wasn't paying attention that there rod. No, I think that is a fish after that. I think it is, maybe. Okay. Good timing, fish. We had the camera going here. This fish had great timing. Finally got us one hooked up on the head, though. Will he stay hooked up? I got teased before. I was trying to say. I know somebody's going to ask me in the comment box. How much line do you let out when you're dragging? And the answer is, it, there ain't really a, an exact science to it. I, I kind of look at the conditions. If I'm in calm water, I don't put out much line. I'll run them 30 yards, 50 yards behind me. Now, a day like today where you got a little bit more chop, I'm going to run them farther back. That way we, we don't, the baits aren't down there just bouncing around as my kayak and my rod tips bounce. So it, it's just not an exact science. It's just, you just eyeball it basically. But I mean, if you're in calm water, if you're in calm water and you're in a kayak, you can run them baits pretty close behind you. Now, if you're in a boat, like, especially like an aluminum boat and something like that, like uh, my kayak's plastic. So when the water's splashing against the plastic hull, man, this fish is wanting to pull now. When water splashes against the plastic hull, it's very quiet. When water splashes against an aluminum boat, it's very loud. So, you know, if you're if you're running baits in a, a full aluminum boat, you want the baits farther out behind you. Uh, that's why them planer board guys, they always say that they're farthest planer board outs the baits that's getting hit well it's probably because they're spooking a lot of the fish that are going over the top of 
in a kayak we're not necessarily spooking those fish because we're not making a ton of noise but anyway we finally got this one up here on the head y'all it finally happened this is another fun sizer right here buddy i'll take it man productive day on the numbers of fish out here man i'm i'm happy with the numbers of fish still haven't gotten still haven't got a big fish yet nothing well i mean i've had some good fish here but i mean you know what i'm trying to say i ain't got no i ain't got no monster fish yet oh oh you fish did you get my other line that's that's headed out back there oh you dang old fish why'd you do that for my gosh, he did. That's my other line. I was letting it out when this fish hit. You fish. There it goes. Lord, you got my sinker around your tail now, fish. I ain't giving, just for that, I ain't giving you front camera time. You're worth it. Most of the time, I'd give it to you, but. No, he tried to bite my thumb off on the way out. These Alabama catfish, y'all, I'm gonna tell you what now, they just something else. They just, they, they all got a bad attitude down here. Ain't none of them likes no Tennessee Vol fans down here in Alabama. They hate our guts, man. That head, it's, it's looking okay still overall. I'm gonna just send it back down. I gotta reel this other one up again, I guess, because I think that, I'm gonna reel it up. That fish was tangled up in the line, so I'm just gonna reel it up and make sure that bait's still on there and then we'll send it back down to you. But yeah, y'all, overall, I mean, the numbers today been pretty good. I just, I got, I need to find some big fish. Need to find them on tournament day, more important than I need to find them today, but I'd like to, yeah, that bait still looks good. But I definitely need to find some for sure. So anyway, we'll keep making our way along and doing what we do, man. It's it's working, by gosh, so we're going to stick with it. Look at that rod right there. Is he on? He hit it. Yeah, he's on there, by gosh. I knew he had hit it. Another one on the chunk, man. I got to thinking, y'all. The bites have obviously come on the chunk today, most of them here. But the way I've been working up this ledge, the rod with the chunk is closest to that brake line that we've been working. Whereas the the other bait is farther away from it. And so I don't know if it's just a preference for the cut of the bait today or if it's just been the location of this bait as we've made our way up through here if these fish are tight to that brake line this is going to be the bait that's getting put right in their nose as we move along and i've you know i've you know i've had the dang live scope on the whole way up here i've really not seen you know a few schools of bait fish an occasional mark along the bottom but like I'm not seeing, I've not seen a big pile of fish anywhere up through here today. Like it's just not being, it's, it seems to be mostly just sporadic fish. But either way, you know, we've, we've made it count out here today. We've, we've got our bites. We've covered some water. Is that, am I imagining that? Are y'all getting wet too? Is it sprinkling again? We got the smallest fish of the day and I think the, I think it's about to start raining again. I swear I get, I'm getting a little wet. It, that is, look right there, it is sprinkling. Every time you think this rain is done today, here it's gonna come again. Come up here, fish. Oh, heck y'all, hold on fish. Let me set that fish back a second. Look back there behind me. Can you see that on camera? I can literally see the rain right there. It's coming this way. You can see it. You can literally see it right down there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it right there. 
Dang weatherman, y'all. Come here, fish. I realized that I left my umbrella. I've got my poor man's bimini top, I call it, that I make out of a golf umbrella and this ram ball and some PVC over here. And I got on the water and realized I'd left that umbrella in the car. And I was like, you know, I ain't going back for it. And then I was doing my intro and it started to rain. And I'm like, you know, the rain's supposed to be out of here. I'll just get wet for a little while and then that'll be it. You know, I have my, my rain suit here. But now here it's coming again, by gosh. And it's just one of them things. I tell you, if we had the umbrella, we wouldn't have got wet at all. This fish has got that line wrapped all up around him every which way. Okay. Get out of here, fish. Lord, he done splashing me too. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it right there. It's just sprinkling right here where I'm at, but it looks like it's raining more. Right there, I got a feeling, I got a feeling I'm about to get drenched again. You know, I hope I don't, but it sure looks like I'm about to. There goes our next bait out as the rain is picking up. Well, at least we, at least I know now one thing for sure. The weatherman down here in Alabama ain't a damn bit better than the weatherman back home in Tennessee. They all suck. They can't get one dang forecast right anywhere on this daggone planet. So anyway, y'all get your rain suit on. We're about to get wet. Well, folks, time I pack up and make my way back down toward the car, it's probably going to be about dark and I'm cold and I'm wet. I'm ready to find something to eat. I'm, I'm hoping there's a Waffle House somewhere here in Alabama. I'm sure they got them. Waffle House is all over the daggone world. But I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go get a bite to eat, rest up, get a good night's sleep, and then get back out here tomorrow and uh, go hit a different spot and just explore and, and see what all I can find. And hopefully by the time I leave Alabama tomorrow night, I'm hoping I got at least a, an idea of what I want to do here in a couple weeks when I come back for that tournament. And if I don't have an idea by the end of tomorrow night, I may just not come back down here. I don't know. You never can tell. But either way, I had a good day, y'all. Got out here, caught some fish, new body of water, had some fun with the exception of just being colder than i like and wetter than i like but overall it's been a good day so hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one